Okay, now I've already shown you how to do his body and his legs and his skirt and everything. Now I'm going to show you how to do his little head, okay? Um, you're going to use the same blade, a seven blade, and on the head, we use it as, at a reverse, okay? In other words, against the grain of the coat. I'm um, always telling you to go with the grain of the coat, but the head and face area is one thing that is a little bit different. So, what you want to do is you want to start at the back of the head here where we left off, okay? And you want to come forward, just blending off the widest part or the highest part of his head here, right off the brow, okay? It's a real easy way to know where to leave the eyebrow. Okay, you want to start at, at the ear here. Be real careful. Okay, and then the same thing, you want to blend off the widest part of the face. Okay. Same thing on the other side. Blending off the widest part. Okay, then you'll lift them up and get underneath here. Usually, there's a little, well, not usually, always, there's a little bit of mold with whiskers coming out of it, and that's your stopping point, okay? Don't want to go any further past that, okay? You clip to that little mold. basically how you do the clipper work on the head. Now you also will need a 10 blade or a 15 blade for the ears. And whether they're cropped or not, um, you're going to clip them unless your preference is to have fuzzy ears, which is fine. But if you're doing a proper schnauzer cut, you want to clip them down with a 10 or 15 blade. You want to go with the grain of the hair, so in other words, up the, or down the ear. I always do the outside first. The inside gets a little tricky. Sometimes it, it scares the dog, so they might be a little fussy for this. And when you've got a dog with a cropped ear, you want to be very, very careful not to cut the edge. So. What I do is I take my clipper, instead of going straight up the ear like this, I take it at an angle and go out, away from that, okay? And you can either use scissors along the edge, which is what I recommend, or you don't have scissors or you just prefer to use this method, you can take your clippers and go against the hair on the edge, like that. It's a little more dangerous. You gotta be real careful, especially if your dog does not like the clippers around the ears. I recommend the scissors, and I'll show you how to do that as well. Just finish this one up, and I'll show you that. Okay. Now the scissor. The way to do the scissors is what you want to do is you want to find the edge, which is usually pretty easy, whether it's cropped or not. You do this. And you just put your fingernail, if, if his are really easy to see, but if your dog has a really hairy inside the ear, which some of them do, you'll want to take your thumbnail and put it right on the edge to avoid clipping the corner of the ear. You want to do the same thing on the outer edge. Clip right up against the ear flap, being really careful not to cut the ear flap itself, of course. Ears bleed like crazy if you accidentally do clip one, so I suggest trying your hardest not to do that. Okay, same thing along the edge over here. All right, and that gives you a nice clean ear. Looks like we missed a spot right there. Okay, so there's his ear.